Second thought did a piece on Elon with perfect union? Nice. I'm no saying. Okay, Elon Musk has spent decades building something big himself. The world's richest man crafted a visionary persona by making huge promises and won billions despite failing at most of them. We teamed up with Second Thought to tell the story of how Elon Musk got rich. This is fire, dude. What the f But I generally try to do the right thing. Are you sincerely trying to save the world? I'm trying to do good things. Good idea for an electric jet. Impossible. Oh, God. Possible. My middle name, I suppose. Elon Musk has a pretty big pitch. He's the good billionaire using his wealth to protect the future of humanity. It's gotten him some- A lot of people who always think we make fun of him because we're bitter meanies and not because the guy's an absolute ghoul. I mean, he is an absolute ghoul, but I am a bitter meanie as well at the same time. Like, I'll admit it. Like, I'm a f***ing hater, bro. I am a hater. Do you hate Elon Musk because he has Asperger's, aka high-functioning autism? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> A fan base. I've, I've never signed a, a, a life-size <laughs> version of it. First, I want to say, I love you. A 2021 poll showed Musk with a 50% approval rating, way higher than his fellow billionaires. This How? popularity has done very, How? very well for him. Musk is now the seventh richest man in the world. Musk is now the fourth richest man in the world. Elon Musk is now the world's richest person again, according to Forbes. We took a deep look into Musk's entire career. Court documents, SEC filings, and inter- Like, we, why? Why can't fucking people hate him like they hate Bill Gates? You know what I mean? I mean, fuck Bill Gates, too, obviously. Don't get me wrong. Make no mistake, motherfuckers. Like, absolutely motherfuck Bill Gates, okay? He sucks. But, like, why can't people hate Elon Musk in a similar capacity? Why can't they just, like, think that he's, like, microchipping everybody or some shit? I do know why. It's because he is so good at being a fucking comment. He, like, he is good at marketing himself, and that's it. Oh, yeah, that's actually crazy. Elon Musk literally is microchipping chipping people like the entire fucking concept of Neuralink. I mean, he's not microchipping people yet. And I don't think he will ever microchip people because he's a fucking gigantic failure. But like if he wasn't a gigantic failure, then he would be able to potentially microchip people even though he hasn't been able to. I mean, yeah, Elon is wag as fuck, but it but is a failure? Isn't he like the richest dude ever, Law? Bro, why are you in this community if you can't comprehend that like, it doesn't matter if you're a fucking failure. You can still be profoundly rich and incredibly fucking wealthy. Like, you can fail upwards, chat. How have you not comprehended this yet? I mean, look at me. I'm a fucking failure and I'm richer than your dad. Think about that. I'm a fucking dumbass, dude. Or uh, yeah, look, look no further than your fucking managers, dude. Y'all have all worked at jobs. I worked under a uh, fucking, uh, you know, I, I worked at a company as well. Well, you think your manager was smarter than you? No. Musk has fallen short on almost every promise he's made and his only real successes have happened because of public funding and partnerships and bailouts. Yeah. Interviews to break down the story Elon tells about himself and how he leveraged it to accumulate wealth and power. This is The Classroom from More Perfect Union, and today we're going to look at how Elon Musk got rich. Let's skip Musk's South Africa childhood. Critics say he inherited his money from his father's emerald mine, and Elon says that's not true. He claims he rejected his abusive father's ill-begotten wealth and came to North America as a teen with $2,000 to put himself through college. He knew he wanted to work with the internet. The only way to get involved with the internet in 95 that I could think of was to start a company because uh, they want a lot of companies to go and work for. So I thought, well, we've got to make something that's going to return money very, very quickly. Elon joined forces and funds with his brother Kimball. They drummed up some cash from investors. In uh oh Early Kimball mention. Going to post that. Kimball, uh, famously uh, friends with Jeffrey Epstein Kimball. Like, very good friends with Jeffrey Epstein Kimball. That's, the, that's just who Kimball is. All right, let's keep going. Including 20K from their father and started Zip2, a map and local listing company. Zip2 eventually planned to merge with City Search, but Elon wouldn't have been in charge. That did not sit well with him. At the time, a City Search executive said City Search wanted to focus on customers and financiers, while Musk wanted to focus on general visibility. Visibility for him. I'd like to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. That'd be cool. These disagreements led to the deal falling apart. This is a pattern for Elon, a need for sole credit and control. It's a huge part of his story. Zip2 sold and Elon made 22. By the way, what he did with Zip2 is something that he did literally throughout his entire fucking career. When I studied engineering, everyone in my class used to suck him off all the time, but now even the hardcore engineering nerds that I know have started to dislike him. Elon Musk is everything that's wrong with Silicon Valley wrapped up into one fucking giant ball of like annoying nine gag memes, okay? If you're an engineer, how the fuck do you respect a guy who literally doesn't do engineering? The only patent that Elon Musk has is the fucking, the thing that you put at the tip of your, your 
charger. That's it. Like, he didn't design shit. He didn't do anything. He's not an engineer. Barely got some fucking comp sci uh, skills. Yeah, all he does is literally enslave engineers and then, you know, ride the wave. Ride their fucking accomplishments. Engineers want to make shit. I know that because I live with one. They just want to make shit. They don't give a fuck. They're like, I don't care how... I don't care where. I just want to make shit. I want to build stuff. I love building shit. He's an innovator. No, he is not, dude. What? He's not an innovator at all. He hasn't innovated anything. That's a lie. Anyway, engineers want to build things, okay? Elon Musk is the furthest away from that. Like, he, he doesn't build shit. He just <laughs> exploits the engineers that build shit for him. Two million dollars, which he invested in his next project. I've sunk the great majority of, of my net worth into X.com, which is the new banking and mutual funds company. So this is an ATM. What we're going to do is transform the traditional banking industry. That quote defines Musk's strategy, promise revolutionary technology, and highlight how he's risking his own money. And he also points out a key element of his success. Notice how that's no different than the Twitter thing as well, by the way. He does this all the time, Doing and he investors. gets away with it all the time. Raising $50 million is a matter of making a series of phone calls. As X.com took shape, investors and the board didn't think Musk had the experience to be CEO, so they brought in Bill Harris. Elon's co-founders were also unhappy. One accused him of promising the sun, moon, and the stars to the media when there was nothing there. Future SEC filings for the company even mention a lack of proprietary technology as a corporate risk. The tech they did have was problematic. For example, there was a bug allowing bad actors to transfer funds from any account in the nation's banking system with just an account number. A major security flaw. A co-founder was so displeased with Musk, he left and took many employees with him. Musk's reaction? We'll hire more people. Eventually, Musk pushed out CEO Bill Harris and replaced him. With himself. To centralize authority. X.com merged with a competitor, Peter Thiel's Confinity. Confinity owned a piece of technology called PayPal. Musk and Thiel got glowing press coverage, but because PayPal came out of Confinity- Another psychotic villain, by the way, Peter Thiel, literally is like an evil villain in every meaningful capacity. I mean, this is a guy straight up. I, I don't know if he has a fucking lair, but I would not be surprised if he has one. He has blood boys. He does blood transfusions from like young buxom lads. I, I, most of those billionaires want to like try to figure out, you know, life extension though. They're, they're crazy about that. He is, uh, also the founder of Paradigm. What was the fucking company that he owns that like literally just does, that does spyware, oh, Palantir, not Paradigm, Palantir, thank you. That does spyware for the federal government, that's it. It's like machine learning, machine learning surveillance technology for the federal government, which by the way is straight up named after Lord of the Rings, like the Eye of Sauron, the all seeing eye. He's not even fucking hiding it. Like, he's just straight up like, no, I'm, I'm, a, vil I'm a bad guy. He's like, I'm a, I'm a villain. Anyway, let's continue. Infinity, a lot of the coverage centered Teal. According to Ashley Vance's 2015 biography, Musk kept championing the X.com brand while most everyone else favored PayPal. Eventually, the company scrapped X.com to focus on PayPal, a decision the press gave Musk credit for. But mutiny was brewing. Executive Roloff Botha alleged Musk was hiding serious financial issues from the board. Employees put together a coup. They petitioned the board to fire Musk, and it worked. Musk was fired and replaced with Teal. Botha said it was just in time. It would have killed the company if Elon had stayed on as Both CEO for nuts. six more months. Regardless, Musk hits it big when PayPal eventually sells. $180 million. He had been laying the path for his next move since college. When I was in college, there were three areas that I thought would most affect the future of humanity. The internet, uh, the transition to a sustainable energy and transportation uh, sector, and space exploration, and particularly the extension of life to multiple planets. With the, the, the capital that I got from the sale of PayPal, um, I was able to go into both those, those areas. Enter. Damn, you got two homies that have fucking whipped it out in places that they're not supposed to. Right here, talking to one another, you know what I mean? Shouts out to Charlie Rose, okay? Pal, um, I was able to go into both those, those areas. Enter SpaceX and Tesla. Is space travel not important? Dude, I love space travel. Shut the fuck up. My brother's literally, my brother literally built satellites. Dude, sh shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I've always been fascinated with space travel. I am absolutely fascinated with bitches. space travel and I do love space and I do think that space exploration is important. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Having said all of that, I do think what Elon Musk is doing is not revolutionizing space travel. What Elon Musk is doing is taking government subsidies and privatizing a, a uh, branch of the government basically so he can continue you funneling goodwill to his other company that is uh, directly tied to his assets. So ignore any good Musk ever. contributes Why? so you can get a better dunk. He's not
not revolutionizing anything. He's bringing topics to the public consciousness like space and energy. Yeah, dude. No one else is talking about space and energy before Elon Musk. Do you understand how fucking stupid Elon Musk simps are? Look no further than this. Motherfuckers will be like, Elon Musk invented tunnels, space travel, and just renewable energy. Like, that's what I mean. It's all marketing and it works because there's enough stupid fucking people that will literally believe him. Elon Musk slams dick in car door. Musk fans, masterful gambit, sir. Straight up. Their stated goal is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. But Tesla's actual strategy is exploiting well-meaning government climate programs. Look at carbon credits, government permits to emit a certain quantity of greenhouse gases. Companies earn carbon credits for reducing emissions and have to spend them when they emit too much. Tesla earns a lot, then sells them to other companies, erasing whatever progress Tesla made. The boost from selling carbon yeah. credits led to some of the only profitable quarters Tesla had ever had. This is brilliant, by the way. This condenses uh, in a perfect way what the True Anon uh, podcast that created some of my favorite episodes on Elon Musk covered over the course of like two like hour and 30 minute long episodes. Kind of like a tax write-off for these other companies. It's, uh... Other companies are basically paying Elon Musk uh, and Tesla to make electric vehicles, i.e. really not doing anything about pollution, just monetizing it. Exactly. It's unfortunate I think Tesla is past the point of disappearing certainly not worth their valuation though um uh, not necessarily you can only keep up the act about uh, uh self-driving cars for too long the reason why tesla's valuation is so insane is not necessarily because it makes the most cars or anything or it's profitable or anything like that obviously not tesla does not have the same amount of factories as like any of the other competing car manufacturers. Tesla has originally taken advantage of the fact that like other car manufacturers haven't been making EVs or, or haven't been pushing out EVs as aggressively, right? However, Tesla is not a car company. It's a tech company, okay? So its valuation is treated like a tech company and tech companies get like 10X, 100X, okay? Basically, uh, for that reason, people are not paying Tesla because of like its uh, quarterly earnings. People are not valuing Tesla uh, or evaluating Tesla on its quarterly earnings or its profit margins or anything like that. Obviously, that still factors into the valuation, clearly. That's, you know, you have to do that. But it's more so about like what the potential of Tesla is. However, Tesla isn't a tech company. In reality, it is a marketing company around Elon. Osako, you are correct. It's not a tech company. Their own SEC filings say they're a car manufacturer. Oh, shit. My bad, dude. I didn't realize if the SEC filing says they're a car manufacturer, then I guess they're evaluating the, the Tesla stock off of uh, it being a car manufacturer. And it totally makes sense that they're... That's so crazy. It's so weird that the car manufacturer is, uh, what, like one-tenth the size of other car manufacturers and yet uh you know their stocks are 10x they even used to list regulatory credits and automobile sales in the same line in some sec filings it allowed tesla to announce better financials and pull in more investors retail and institutional musk gets paid almost entirely in stock and he's really good at manipulating the stock's value he uses the same strategy he used with daimler and the department of energy welcome back announcing to funding that might not exist like when he tweeted, am considering taking Tesla private. Look at that. Automotive companies market value in billions. Tesla is at $555 billion. Toyota is at $196.61 billion. Do you understand? The we amount of Toyotas that are out there, by Tesla. like Toyota's productive capabilities is not even show. imaginable in comparison to a fucking car company that had to do a recall for like 50% of its fucking existing inventory literally last year. And the inventory itself wasn't even that fucking large. Stop talking of things you don't understand. Understand. growth over dead industry okay dude you're i know that you're gonna lose the remaining fucking uh allowance that you got from your parents before you bankrupt your entire fucking family lineage in the stock market because you think you're fucking brilliant anyway so have fun with that okay sure straight up have fun with that dude you're you you're a fucking you're the wolf of wall street brother i have no rebuttal for you you fucking destroyed me have fun going to the fucking moon dog uh. you're gonna kill it Toyota has no future they're way behind on evs i know toyota is like notoriously uh bad on evs and i do agree that that is not good for a company like toyota but ultimately that's not the point i'm making fango lives and you know this better than anyone else you fucking literally write about evs so shut the fuck up you know exactly what i'm talking about the fact that like these giant gigantic fucking car manufacturers are not even valued at a fraction of fucking Tesla despite their productive capabilities and their output across the board in comparison to a company like Tesla shows that there is clearly a massive multiplier happening here with Tesla's valuation and that valuation revolves around Tesla being treated as a tech company and not a car manufacturer it's the idea it's the gamble it's the bet that Tesla is going to hit it big when the self-driving car thing happens okay 
That's what it is. It's speculation. There's also an issue with like uh, working on the cars themselves. Like there aren't, in comparison to other cars, there aren't as many Teslas out on the street. So you don't get to hear these issues as much. Plus there's an NDA you have to sign if you want to get your fucking car fixed. But the repair fact, yep, there it is. Business is correct. The repair factor is a huge issue with Teslas. Anything breaks on a Tesla, even a bumper, and their solution is to buy a new Tesla. The way that they fucking built the frame on a Tesla is literally like a, a fender bender tanks your car. Some of you motherfuckers who are uh, Elon Musk simps are unironically behaving like the uh, Joe Rogan clip. Okay, dude. Okay, car sales Tesla. Car sales 2021. Let's take a look at that because uh, these fucking idiots are not going to shut the fuck up. And the only reason why Tesla sales are up 93%, this is just percentage increase, not like actual amount of cars you're selling. So if Tesla sold one car and then sold two cars, that's a fucking 100x, you know what I mean? Like, or not a 100x, that's just like doubled, right? That's just a percentage increase. This is a very sneaky way of making it seem as though Tesla's selling a lot more cars. Vehicle delivery in comparison to the other vehicle uh, manufacturers is a fraction. It's fucking tiny. And a lot of you dummies are uh, behaving like Joe Rogan when he found out the truth about like how much Ford fucking uh, uh, sales in comparison. Tesla sales are up 20x since 2017. Okay, but that doesn't mean anything. They're not even in the top fucking 10, dog. Where is Tesla? Where the fuck is Tesla? People are literally, I just described to you how people can lie about numbers this way and how, like, look, Toyota decreased their fucking sales. Do you think Toyota is not the largest car manufacturer still? Look at that. Oh, well, this looks like Tesla's fucking killing it. And it looks like Toyota is getting fucking owned, dude. I'm too stupid to understand how this works. Yeah, they're up infinity since 1960. <laughs> like, they didn't exist. Light vehicle sales in the United States between January and December of 2020 and 2021 by uh, manufacturers. Where's Tesla? Where's Tesla? Where's Tesla? Here on vacation. Oh, there it is. Will you shut the fuck up now, you dumb fucks? You stupid fucking idiots, dude. Huh? 93%. Okay, well, where's Tesla? Of course it's 93% increase in comparison to fucking Toyota. All you motherfuckers who act like you know. Act like you are so smart. And I am a fucking himbo. And uh, admittedly a dumbass. And even I can comprehend how this fuck, how, how to look at a goddamn graph, dude. Massage the numbers as hard as you want, but ultimately Tesla doesn't sell as much as other companies, okay? And th this 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 stock valuation or its, its market value is not associated with its fucking output. That does not make sense. Of course the, there are fundamentals. Yeah, I had to click see more to see where the fuck, uh, uh, you know, Tesla is. Tesla's out here getting fucking- Noted long dicked by Mazda and there's still simps in the fucking chat losing their mi uh, minds. Valuation is definitely high but market always values growth companies more than stagnant ones. Yes, it's speculation but that's what the market is. By the way, not a Tesla investor though I used to be. Yeah, I know. I know that the market uh, values growth companies. I understand that but the valuation is still insanely high and that gamble is going to fall apart inevitably especially when other companies start Seven making affordable, now. sexy, sleek EVs that don't fucking light on fire as a matter of fact. Anyway, Tesla's head of AI just quit last week confirming he never believed in FSD coming out anytime soon. Okay, well, my man was like, I have too many murders in my hands, okay, with this FSD shit. Yeah, this was the this is what some of you Tesla simps uh, sound like. I mean, it's the biggest car manufacturer in the United States right now, right? Isn't it? I don't know. I, I mean, I know it's like, no, not even remotely close, not even close, dude. There's not even a fucking statistic where you can like massage the numbers and make it seem like that. Uh, uh, Tesla is the, the number one uh, car manufacturer in the United States uh, between, uh, you know, on Mondays. Uh, if you look at just Mondays where they're selling all their cars, uh, that's when worth more. I think it's they manufacture more and sell more Teslas than any other American brand. See if that's true. First automaker re to reach the milestone. Soon the production sales volume will reach 1 million per year. So they sell more, man. Thank you. That's not, that's so glad I was right. Okay, sure. Am I wrong? To <laughs> yeah, no. Find out. That's, one, that, that's Tesla versus one Ford car. Yeah. Right, right. The F-150 well, sells. How the, much does the F-150 sell? 900,000 per year. Right, but you know that um, Ford is actually, they're going to stop production of almost everything except the F-150 and the Mustang, which is pretty crazy. I, I was just that's crazy, man. That's, I don't think that's real. But also, doesn't really matter because, like, are they even the top EV manufacturer in, in the United States? I don't think so, but I don't know. Maybe. Tesla makes more EVs than all other EVs combined? I don't believe that anymore. I do not believe that. Who Tesla makes the most the EVs? Could be. Could be the truth. Tesla doesn't even sell Gen the most electric EV vehicles worldwide anymore in 2021. 
And R1 is a Chinese company now. Woo! Remember, a lot of this stuff is new. A lot of this stuff is new. Like companies were yeah, slow yeah. to move. They were slow to move on EV sales. They were slow to move on EV sales. They were slow to move towards EV. Um, partially because like obviously they they're a, a product of the oil and gas industry as well byd overtakes tesla as the world's biggest ev maker in 2020 but here's a catch Tesla delivered 580 all electric vehicles the first half of 2022 while this represented 27 year over year growth it fell short of numbers posted by one of the company's competitors the warren buffett backed byd but there's a catch while news pieces stating that tesla has been dethroned by byd as the world's biggest electric vehicle producer by sales would be like uh would likely be quite numerous today there is some nuance between the vehicles sold by the two ev makers tesla's over half a million cars sold are all battery electric cars without an internal combustion engine. Oh, BYD's models are plug-in hybrids, so they're not exactly full electric cars. Okay. Tweet had falsely inflated Tesla stock and caused billions in damages. The COVID pandemic also helped Musk. When the Federal Reserve executed recession stalling fixes on Wall Street, bankers invested in Tesla. Despite Musk's derision of COVID stimulus checks, Tesla received stimulus money from the government. At the beginning of the pandemic, Tesla stock hovered around $120 a share. In late 2021, a year and a half into COVID, it was worth $2,000.